look at that. This is more breaking news. A sheriff's deputy shooting out a window, a car window, to catch a suspected drunk driver in San Marcos. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is there live. And Jared, this all came after a car chase. It did, Jason, Virginia. They tried to pull that woman over when she ran a stop sign, and they think she was driving drunk because she also crashed into a couple of other things as she led them on that chase through San Marcos. It ended here in this parking lot. This is the 7-Eleven on San Marcos Boulevard. Look down here. You can still see some of the glass shards from the window that was shot out. And if you look back over this way, you can see the 7-Eleven store worker has been working all morning to clean up the evidence of the shooting that happened right in front of his door. Less lethal fire. Less lethal fire. Less lethal fire. Third one, less lethal. Now you can hear the deputy shouting less lethal fire. That's because he was using either rubber bullets or bean bags instead of live ammo. They still did a lot of damage to the car, shattering that driver's side window. We're told the woman who was driving had either already moved into the back seat or leaned her seat back so she wasn't hurt when that window shattered. Even after that, though, she still wouldn't come out of the car, so the deputy sent in the canine through that broken window. Within seconds, the woman came out of the back door and surrendered. She had a cut on her eye, otherwise no visible injuries. The car, meanwhile, had a lot of damage aside from that broken window. Look at the front of it. All of that fender and bumper damage from some of the accidents that happened during the chase. We're still waiting to hear this morning what that woman was charged with and also how bad her injuries are. As soon as we find that out, we'll bring that to you. Live in San Marcos, Jared Aarons, 10 News.